trying to reach the town! This is a real fight, Crisbell. Time to use your new skills! Be swift, be precise. First, select attack, and then choose your target. Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Getting that second hit requires precise timing. Make sure you press the button again right as your attack hits the enemy. Getting that second hit requires... Very good, Crispell. Be cautious. Watch for your opponent's attack and press the button right when they hit you to block most of the damage. Careful, Chris Bell. It will strike again. Nicely done. Now give it your all. Finish it off. Well done, Chris Bell. But I'm afraid our work is not done here. Where are you supposed to be? Hello, my name is... Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. Christopher, by the way. Chris Bell. There. It's too less of them. I've been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. <laughs> Look, Volcano! They broke our poor goblins! How Gally, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Till I stop murdering them! I know, I know! I just want to play! Not my fault they're all so... squishy! Oh, and that's why we can't have nice things. It didn't work. We can't touch them! Not even a scratch? I can't take much more of this. Crispell, it is time! Use the crystals! The crystals?
I'd better not keep her waiting. your grandma, Chris, and how it used to be around here. I miss your grandma. So many chores. The kids in town get to go out and play. Chris Bell, finally. Did you prune the roses yet? Mother Superior, it's just my rose. He, the frog, it took it. Enough, enough. I've seen that look before. Find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. Rose back. What a lovely day for a walk in the woods. Chris Bell, what's the hurry? Good morning, Marco. Have you seen a little yellow frog? A frog? Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? A uh, top hat? Then no. Maybe try the mayor's estate? There's always something going on there. I'll try. Thanks, Marco. Sorry. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day. Sticker we found. It's a skull. Why would someone do this? That Marco is never home. He'll inherit this one day. He should help me take care of it. Think about the future. It's not just the farms that will be renovated. It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town. Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning our fields. Money, power, your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you? Where's your proof? Proof? Look around you. Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, but not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now see here, I never... Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Crisbell. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go, hmm? May the lady light your way, Crisbell. Too many in town have strayed from her grace. Thank you. I should go. Thank you. 
things. I don't know, Chris. Between the crops, the monsters, the weather... It never ends. I just saw your dad with the mayor. They seemed really angry. Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always... We give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. <sighs> Sorry, Chris. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat, a top hat. He took my rose. <laughs> a frog in a top hat? Only you, Chris Bell. I haven't seen it, but I'll keep my eyes open. <sighs> Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral's as good a place as any to try. Superior finds out I've come here alone. Who's doing this? Actually, you are. You have opened the crystals of time, Chris Bell. <gasps> what are... I mean, who... How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog, at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. On me? Why? I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? By whom? What? More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I... I can't... I don't want this. Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Powers? This is a curse. Why is this even happening? You're upset. Perfectly understandable. But I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only, but sadly no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. Just over there in that hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. Wilhelm, answer the door! Go away, I'm busy. 
Open the door, you pompous child! We have important business! Matthias? Huh. Idiot frog. You're a child! Manners. You're speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispell. Um, sir? Crispell has opened both crystals of time! Ridiculous! Impossible! Why, not even I've been able to... Yet, it has happened. No. No, no. No, there's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time mage. As am I. And while my powers have led to my... youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future! Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. in the future a tree it's growing from the seed I planted exactly a glow fruit tree to be specific but take care it will only grow if you care for it otherwise it will wither and die so if I do something in the present I can affect the future obviously has that not always been the case now however you have the ability to see these future possibilities so choose your actions accordingly I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes. Go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. Chris 
spell. You had me worried. Mother Superior, you're okay. The orphanage is still here. Well, of course. What's got you so excited, child? Did some... No, I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yes, he... He was just here. I need to find him. At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. Yes, Mother Superior. Now go find your friend. And don't take all day. You still have to prune these roses. Today, they'll be even prettier tomorrow. Matthias? I thought it best not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Hmm? Crispell, I'm sorry if I upset you by leaving. No, I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future. Abandoned. Empty. How could that happen? I don't know, but let's look around town. Perhaps your new powers can shed light on this. Hey, Chris. If you see my mom, don't tell her where I am, okay? Check out the cool sticker we found. Unfortunate. Unfortunate? The Millers are homeless! Without the apothecary, the town has no medicine! Only in the future, and only if you let it happen. If I let it happen? But... No, you're right. Excuse me, Mrs. Miller. I think your house has a rot problem. Really? That's strange. The carpenter would have told me something about it. Maybe I'll go talk to him tomorrow. Maybe we should talk to him right now. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, I guess. Can you help me? There's a problem with the houses. A problem? Great. What did you see, girl? They're rotting away from the inside. In a few years, there won't be anything left. You saw rot on the inside? From the outside? Neat trick. Sounds like someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Would have lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. Can you make some? Do I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. Why would someone do this? This will take forever to sort out. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. You and half the town? No. No, I can't. Someone tore the labels off of my mushrooms. It's terrible. One of these is red button. Good for digestion, great on a salad. One of them is ground death cap. Even the tiniest bit could be deadly. An important distinction, wouldn't you agree? Of course, with no labels, it's impossible to tell them apart. Can't you just throw them out and make some more? Sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. My father used to do all of that. He bottled and labeled them years ago. I'm 
sorry. I wish I could help. Me too. It'd be nice to have help around here. I try to keep everything the way he left it. But there are only so many hours in the day. Sorry. I've got to get back to work. No wonder she's upset. They all look alike. I suppose they do. Let me try something. Mm, I can't see them in the past at all. Allow me. This one has a skull on it. I imagine this is the death cap. That sticker! I saw it today! Some kids were playing with one! Chris, check out the sticker we found! It's a skull! You took that from June's. Do you know what you've done? It's only a sticker. You can't just take things from stores. Especially not the apothecary. Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. This is as much proof as we are likely to get. Miss June, we found your label. It goes on the bottle with the red lid. Where? Some kids took it. They just thought it was a cool skull sticker. I don't think they meant any harm. Of course they didn't. What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. Chris Bell, was there something you needed? Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare and it doesn't keep. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. Is there any glow fruit near Nareem? Maybe I. I wouldn't get your hopes up, but ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. You might get lucky. any glow fruit growing nearby? Miss June thought you might. They used to grow by the lake, but I haven't seen one in ages. The seed you planted for Wilhelm. It was glow fruit. I'm sorry, dear. If you find one, let me know. They're beautiful, glowing purple and orange. And they only bloom every ten years or so. Really lovely. Thank you, Mrs. Magda. That's just what I need. <laughs> Hate to see you leave, but remember, get your game on. Peace. Also, like, comment, subscribe, and have a chance at winning a PSN card.